All right, so today I'm going to be tying a partridge in yellow, which is uh, pretty similar to a partridge in orange. Um, <clears throat> and uh, basically, this is just uh, kind of a popular little little nymph pattern. It could, uh, I guess, cover uh, imitate a whole bunch of different things, from uh, you know caddis uh, nymph or uh, pupa um, to just various uh, nymphs in the water. Maybe even a spider, um, you know, it's all, it usually always has like a really long, um, somewhat sparse uh, partridge hackle wrapped. So I'll get to tying this for you. So today I'm going to be tying this on a uh, Tamagotsu um, <clears throat> S10, a little, uh, little standard standard nymph hook, and that'll be in a, in a size 12. Let's get that in the vise here. And then the thread I'm going to be using is uh, is a UTC to make the body. Uh, is this a UTC 140 in the yellow? Basically, just start out about uh, an eighth of an inch back from the eye. Go ahead and start wrapping back. And these flies have a fairly short body, so I'm not going to wrap quite all the way back to the hook bend, but close. And I'm just going to kind of build up a thread body. Um, and you want to try to taper that a little bit. So I'm going to make a couple passes. You can use yellow floss. I just don't have any on hand. Um, and then you want to come up, leave yourself um, a little bit more than uh, close to a quarter of an inch to do your thorax and uh, um, and your collar and head. So then I'm going to wrap back. And before I get all the way back to where I stopped my thread time turns the last time, I'm going to go ahead and start coming back. That will kind of help build just a little bit of a taper towards the end there and then uh, if you want to build a flatter body um, as you're turning you're going to have to twist your bobbin counterclockwise it'll open that thread back up and allow you to make a smoother thread body all right so I'll call that good so I'm just going to wrap forward somewhat um, we'll do just a do just a couple half hitches so I'm going to go ahead and give this a coating of uh, Sally Hansen's just a clear nail polish and basically that's just gonna enhance the durability of this fly if you're using floss you can add ribbings and stuff like that but this stuff dries pretty quick so it's not not that hard to put just a just a real light coating of it on just make sure you get all the way around and all the way to the end we'll call that good Got just a little bit of excess right there. Wipe that off. Okay, so now we'll just give that a couple seconds to dry and uh, and then we'll come back and, and finish off the fly. Alright, so once that's dry you can go ahead and start the rest of your fly there. And what I'm going to use is a rusty brown UTC in 140. Go ahead just start this right behind the eye. Wrap back to where your body ended. Go ahead and clip off your excess. <clears throat> then you're going to go ahead and dub a little little thorax with uh, this hairline dubbing, um, natural hairs here. And uh, this has a really a good amount of little f spiky fibers, the guard hairs in there. That's what you want to look for. You want, you want a nice spiky dubbing for this little, little thorax. <clears throat> so you don't want to build this up too much. Just a nice light coating of dubbing which should do it for you. Let's go ahead and dub that on there. Sweep back any of those guard hairs that are pointing forward. That should be good. Alright, so now <clears throat> I'm going to take a partridge feather and uh, just what I'm going to do to prepare this is go ahead and take away some of the more webby fibers, leave myself a bare quill. This is just a natural partridge feather. I actually found this partridge uh, freshly dead and go ahead, went ahead and plucked some of the feathers to use. This one's maybe just a little more um, tan than some of the ones you might find packaged, but it still works. So <clears throat> Go ahead and Secure that in by that little tip that you left yourself. Then you're going to want to go ahead and 
um, just kind of wrap this hackle around the fly um, leaving yourself just one to two wraps should do it on this fly go around catch that in hold your thread should be able to wiggle break that off looks like a mess but just go ahead and sweep those fibers back and catch those in then just finish it up by making just a little thread head go ahead grab your whip finisher just do one two three whip finishes that should do it Cut your thread and go ahead and just put on just a tiny bead for your head cement. And that's it. That's the fly. So um, either this or the partridge in orange are both a uh, really nice pattern to go ahead and try on if they're not biting on any of your other soft hackles. Um, highly recommend it. So give it a whirl. Hope it catches your fish. Mm -hmm.